Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, politics in video games is a touchy subject for some folks, because you'll get people who say that you should never put politics in a video game, that it should only be for fun, no hidden messages, no nonsense. And you'll also get people who say that, well, the developer and writer are spending a lot of money to put this game out, we should at least sort of hear out what they have to say. And personally, for me, you know, I don't really care if you get that deep in the story of a video game. You don't have to, it's not a requirement to play a video game that you need to know everything the developer is pushing or anything like that. You can play games just to have fun. You know, take Bioshock, for example. If you saw Bioshock and that it was underwater and you're like, oh, cool, that looks like Atlantis. And then you see gameplay and it's like, oh, the guns look cool. And like, oh, I can shoot a fireball out of my hand. Or, oh, this big guy in the diving suit with the drill arm looks scarier than hell. And the horror aesthetic is kind of up my alley. That is more than enough reason for you to have played and enjoyed Bioshock. In fact... I would go so far as to say you could skip all of the dialogue in Bioshock and, well, you'd probably be a little confused, but you would still have fun because, well, it's a fun game. You know, you don't need the story to enjoy it. I feel like the story of Bioshock improves it immensely, but you don't need it to have fun. The problem I have when it comes to ignoring the story for fun is changing what the author's intended message is to suit your own need. Like, ignoring plot points to fit a narrative. That just seems dishonest to me, you know? And especially if you're a video game reviewer, critiquer, like if you have an audience... It's, it is up to you to be honest with people about what is being said in these games so people can make their own decisions about whether they want to play it themselves or not. And, you know, I would say this goes more than just video games. This is any form of media that these reviewers have, they have an obligation to be honest about what is being said in these games. You know, keeping Bioshock in mind, I think one of the funniest reviews I heard about the politics of Bioshock was that it was a take on communism because all of the enemies wear the same mask. And that means that your individuality has been taken from you, which is what happens under socialism. And I mean, I just think that that's pretty funny because for one, that's just like, how games work, you know, you get enemy types. But the other thing, too, is, like, did you forget how work uniforms, like, function? Again, a capitalist structure, you have a uniform you go to work in, you're taking your individuality just so you can survive. So, it, it's just a weird critique. It seems like you're purposefully saying things to shape a narrative because you want people to believe how you believe it. I don't know. It's a it's a weird thing to get into. Politics and how you read a story, you know, everybody's going to translate things different. And if you can go straight to the source, you know, like the developer, the writer, whoever, yeah, do that if you're confused. But if you don't have that option, maybe just look around and see what the consensus is online. You know, see what most people agree on as to what's being said in the story. And, you know, maybe look at some of those contrarian opinions. Form your own, you know. But I would rather you completely ignore the story of a game than for you to make what their intention is warp because of what you believe 
give them a chance to tell you their story. Really take it to heart before you warp it to suit your worldview. I can't tell you how to think. I can't tell you what to think, but try and keep an open mind when you're, whether it's a new game, whether it's a book, whether it's a movie, try and make your own decisions about what it means. And if you're having any difficulty, you know, talk to people you trust. Or again, try to find that consensus online. With what do most people accept? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you. You're the one who has to decide what you want it to mean. And you don't have to answer to anybody but you about, you know, how you take it. I know this is kind of broad, but, you know, the next time you see someone talking about they don't like politics in their games, look at what politics they want in their games and maybe decide if that's someone you should keep listening to. But until then, y'all try to have a good day.